Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Wyoming Blessed with Tish. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell right above it, the little bell. So you'll be notified when a video is uploaded. Y'all, today we're trying the TikTok viral cucumbers and sugar that's supposed to taste like watermelon. Of course, this is monk fruit sweetener because it is my um, higher carb day, but I'm not using sugar, obviously. And we have some mango habanero wings, just two of them back here, but they're the drumsticks and you all know, I don't really care for those. We have some water with Gatorade Zero in it and it is Ghost Story Wednesday. And I have like a little picture I'm going to post in the community tab that will go with that. Um, yeah, but this is going to be a quick, quick video. And I got some tahini on the side over here. Because you all know, we eat watermelon with tahini. So, let's give this a try. I'm kind of nervous. I watched Kim Tai do this last night and she was like, that does not taste like watermelon. Like, I get the vibe of it. <laughs> it does resemble watermelon. I'm going to put a little tahini right here to like sprinkle in it. So before we start the ghost story, weight loss is going great. We're doing the carb cycling. So when I finish this week on carb cycling, and jump back over to clean keto because it's four days clean keto two days just a little bit higher like 25 carbs and then one day where you can have like a pineapple mango you know per se a cheat day but we do have giveaways we are almost at 2,000 subscribers here on YouTube so I will be giving away this shot glass, this is Wyoming Blessed with Tish. When we hit that, um, when we hit 20,000 followers on TikTok, I'm going to do another giveaway. When we hit 20, or what was it? We'll say 3,000 subscribers here on YouTube. We'll do a ramen giveaway. We're just going to be doing giveaways. So I'm going to try it like this, like with a monk fruit sweetener and a little tahini. Hmm, so weird. You know what it reminds me of? You know, like the wa uh, end of the watermelon by the rind, where it's not so sweet? That's what it reminds me of. So we did a big barbecue yesterday for Mother's Day, and I had a couple of these wings left over. I cooked them in the pressure cooker first, and then put them on the grill and use the G. Hughes sugar-free mango habanero sauce. They were a big hit, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Not sure what I just ran into. Mm-hmm. So, Ghost Story Wednesday. So the other night, I was in the room, or in my room, and I was sitting on my bed ahead, just got out of the bath. And y'all, if you didn't see my video that I did in my room, there's a window behind my bed an old like bay window but it doesn't go to anything because I have a front porch 
which I mean obviously the front porch was an add-on. So, Coda has a little room out there. He has like a futon and everything. And he's been sleeping out there because he says with it warming up, his room gets too hot, I guess. So he's been sleeping out there. Well, I have blinds. But I have two open so I can see him. Because you all know he's epileptic. So he has to be watched. So, I'm like, lean over to look into these blinds. And I'm not kidding you, y'all. I tried to get the best picture I could of it. And you can kind of see it. You cannot see it like what I could. There was a dog face. Mm-hmm. You could see the two little eyes and everything. Y'all, I just do a double take. And then I asked my husband, I'm like, where's Poncho? Because if y'all didn't know, we have a giant um, Labradane. So I was like, where's Poncho? He's like, right here, why? And I'm like, so I lean over and look again, and that's still there. And it's like staring right at me. I was like, nope. <laughs> like, I don't know what that is, but uh-uh. So I looked all over my room for, like, something to reflect that. Mm-mm. I couldn't find anything anywhere. So, like I said, I tried to take this picture so you all could see it. I don't know what it was. But freaked me out. Gave me like this weird feeling. I was like, uh oh. So I'm gonna post that picture in the community tab. Go over there and look at it and tell me what you think. I mean this is not something I would eat again. But mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Put the teen first. And then a little bit of the monk fruit. It gives you more of a watermelon flavor. Like I said, it reminds me of the watermelon that's down by the rind. That's not super sweet. That's exactly what it tastes like. So, yeah, I'm going to put that in the community tab. Tell me what you think. If you all like watermelon and you can't find it, this would be a great substitute. Do keep in mind that the texture is a little different, but it's not bad. I mean, really, maybe you know what would make it even better, y'all? Some chumoy. Mm-hmm. Cut these up, slice them up, sprinkle some tahini, some monk fruit, and chumoy. Mm-hmm. That right there. That would be life. Anyways, I want to thank you all for joining me for this short video on Ghost Story Wednesday. We will be back here on Topic Friday. If you have a topic you would like to talk about, leave it down below and we will talk about it. I hope that you all had a fantastic weekend and a fantastic Mother Day, Mother's Day. I thank each and every one of you for telling me Happy Mother's Day. And I hope you all had a Happy Mother's Day. And I'll, as always, stay warm and stay blessed. Bye, y'all.